So first things first, before we start with the intended all bosses run, we need to actually see what is intended I'm interested in and this. how we defeat all these bosses. So for example, oh God, we have to start with Dracula. We're gonna watch and see how is it that we are supposed to defeat Dracula? How do the developers intend for us to defeat Dracula? Let's watch. So they do want us to run up the stairs. That's important to note. I'm, gonna, I'm taking notes here. Run up stairs. We got, what was that? Uh, cross, open, secret, get, how many hearts are we getting? 48. Okay, okay. And we have to throw crosses at his head and backflip. Okay. Crosses at head. Back flip and break fire balls. All right, all right. This is how the devs intended it. We can also, uh, yeah, we can break the fireballs with our whip. We can swing it around. Okay, okay. I'm taking notes. This is actually the greatest Symphony of the Night player of all time. Okay. Oh, shit! We can blade dash him as well? All right, blade dash, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, dude. Okay, I have to also uppercut. Holy cross. Oh, we have to save the holy... So we Hydra Storm second phase. Holy crap. Okay. This is a really complicated fight. Okay. Yeah, no damage stacks. Hydra Storm plus uh, whip. Holy crap. All right, that's that's Dracula. That was just the first boss. The second boss, I'm taking notes on all this. Slogger and Gaibon. <coughs> Leather Shield. And Short Sword, I believe. I have to hold the shield out the entire time. Axes as well. Okay. Oh, he missed an attack. The, 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 the dev who is playing as Alucard missed an attack. Mm. I will say... However they recorded these uh, boss fights, it is really, really interesting. Like, the person playing is, like, really good at the game. There's a chance that they also use, like, save states and stuff, so... Maybe they're, they're not that good at the game, but... I'm interested in this. We'll never know. I'm interested in this. Alright. Slogger and Gaibon looks pretty easy. Next up is Doppelganger. Shield again. This guy loves holding shield. <laughs> no fucking way, dude. Oh my god. All right. Uh, holy water. <laughs> Let's backdash. And loop his ass. All right. This is basically what... This is optimal gameplay, honestly. Shield is always out. And then you just jump slash him. Oh! He didn't comply there. Uh-oh. 
Dude, they're even doing... Yeah, they did the AI manipulation right there. The, <laughs> the devs knew about the AI manipulation, which is really funny. Wow. That's, that definitely happened. Oh, so we're allowed to use the AI manip. Cool, cool, cool. I'm interested in this. Let's see how Hippogriff goes. Is he using short sword still? Or that looks like a better sword. I can't tell what it is. This looks pretty straightforward. Just backdash the fire. Might be broadsword. Maybe Gladius. Okay, jump over the, the running attack. We're only allowed only attack when on the ground. Yeah, he doesn't really try and attack uh, Hippogriff when they're in the air. Yeah, it's just some generic sword. We're going to have to route in grabbing some of these weapons. I think this is probably Gladius. It's probably the easiest one to find along the way. Bro, those eggs spawn in the in the wall. Yeah, you get Gladius after being doppel 10, exactly. So that's probably what they're using. Yeah, this is pretty boring. Then obviously, yeah, break the eggs, I guess. Don't worry, guys. I'm, right. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes. Oh my god, they couldn't do the diagonal attack. That's funny. <laughs> no, they expected you to buy the jewel of open <clears throat> and then climb up the tower. That's just that's just the dev intended route. <clears throat> Holy crap. Scylla. Optional boss here. How do we fight Scylla? I must know. Just pretty normal. Yeah. The intended route is library into chapel into Leapstone, yes. We have to walk. We have to walk the whole time. And take damage. That's important. Okay. Walk to Scylla. This is the part that I'm interested in. Huh. Holy water. I have to dodge using the wolf? Okay. Jesus Christ. Holy water. Plus. Sword. Slash. Holy shit. Wolf. Transform for iframes. That's crazy that they used freaking wolf iframes. And then once we kill all the small ones, we get up close and personal. That's insane. That's what I'm saying. The person who did all these recordings back in freaking 1997, maybe even 1996, we don't even know. Like, they, they are very, very smart and good at the game. Minotaur and Werewolf.
What do we got? Okay. Pretty normal fight. Just using a sword and grounded slashes. That's it. This is pretty straightforward, I will say. What's up, uh, Agamemnon? Yeah, this is just pretty normal. This is going to be a long run? Oh, yeah, it is. It's going to be a long one. We'll see, though. We'll see. Where's the soul steel double kill? They, you know. They just didn't know about that yet. I'm interested. And Mentor Werewolf was like literally just normal ass fight. Nothing, nothing special there. Karasimon, let's see it. Is this stun lock? No, no stun. Jizz hand. D jizz hand it is. Okay, we're not allowed to stun lock, and we got to use the jizz hand. Where do you even find jizz hand before Karasamon? Interesting. We're gonna have to keep that in mind. interested in this. Succubus is next. Which sword is that? Is that great sword? No. No, it's a thrust sword. So Claymore? No. Is that Claymore? Yes, it is Claymore. You find Claymore before this fight, so that's fine. Claymore. This looks like a normal fight as well. Oh yeah, there is a, um, by the clock tower, there is a Jizz Hand, you're right. I just noticed that the houses are rotating weirdly. Yeah, they are weird. This is a pretty standard fight. Yeah, okay. We just have to use the claymore. No big deal. I'm interested in this. Cerberus. Dive kick, stand on top platform, and throw holy water? Holy shit. Oh my god, I have to gravity. This is, there's so much to keep track of. Holy shit, this guy's going crazy. Dive kick. Um, stand on top flat. Throw holy water. Crouch attack. Gravity. Holy shit, jump the fireballs. Oh my god. Wow. I'm interested in and it's this. over so fast. Huh? Who am I missing? Oh, that's Richter. 
We'll have to see if we can find one for Richter. I don't know what it... Because we can't fight Richter. Well, I guess we could and just save and then reset. We might have to do that. Let's see all rocks. Oh, I have to sit in his chair? Holy shit. Sit in his chair. We're still using Claymore. Duck the fireball. I have to use axes. Axe the ghosts. Duck the fireballs. Okay. Phase two. Axe and slash. Okay. Oh my god, he didn't get hit there? Yeah, all- Oh, he gets hit! What? I thought he didn't get hit the- I thought they were all hitless. I thought every single one of these were hitless. I've never watched these before. Wow. Bro, they didn't just want to- They were, like, running out of time. They couldn't re-record. Is that mist or power of mist? I can't tell. I think that's normal mist. We're allowed to use mist to dodge as well. Whoa. Yeah, it's normal mist. It's normal mist. Oh, they did get hit in the first one. You're right. I forgot about that. No, they have power of mist. They have power of mist for sure. Dude, this guy sucks. He's getting hit so much. Soul Steel! All right, Soul Steel's allowed. He's like stand. Oh my god. He's he ran out of magic. He's getting owned. There he goes. Finally. Wow, that is a long fight. That's a long one. That is what she said. And yeah. All right. Wow. Crazy. I'm interested in this. Grand Flynn time. Ice Brand. Pretty normal. Kill all the bodies. Gravity Jump. Gravity jump and dive kick on bodies for height. Hmm. The fan game needed a tactics menu? True. I want to see the dev fucking fight their own bosses. Like, holy. Does he take extra damage from Ice Brand? No. It's just that the Ice Brand is in the, um, the catacomb, so it's easy to use. Oh my god, they are so slow. 
They can learn a thing or two about speed running. That's for sure. Dodge the lasers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could also use mist. It's fine. It might despawn the bodies. Yeah, it does. Gravity jump despawns the bodies. Interesting. That must be why they're using it. I don't think he's going to break all the pieces. He's been hitting the core for a while. What's up, Varric? Grand Flynn should be dead soon. Dude, Grand Flynn really does just be flying up there. Oh, he messed up the gravity jump, dude. Even the devs didn't know how to do their own moves. That's crazy. This is basically how you're like supposed to fight Grand Flute, it's just slow. This guy's not bad. It's just this is what a casual playing the game looks like. This is just what, you know, it looks like when you're playing the game for the first time. There you go. Yeah, just a little slow. Real quick, I do want to check. For Cerberus, what, what weapon was he using? Was it Claymore still? No, it was some sort of sword. Normal sword. I don't know what it, normal sword it was. I didn't write that down. All right. All right. Isn't there a way to quit out of these? Time for Dark Wing Bat. Another normal sword. Axes. Normal jump slashes. Okay. Pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, they gave up on using the shield. It's true. Seems like the devs wanted to sell the action element of the game. I mean, I will say for the 90s, this game is pretty, like, you know, action oriented. Because back then, it's more about, like, how many enemies do you have? How many weapons do you have in your game? Like, how much stuff is in your game? Not necessarily, like, how well does the combat actually work. Which is fine. I think this game did a good job, uh, given the time frame that it came out in. Akhmadon. Oh, shit! It's Axe Armor! Axe Armor, baby! Let's go! Based. Yo, the devs are based, guys. Oh my. It's dev intended. Based alert. Oh my.
<laughs> and then I have to jump to taunt. Okay, jump taunt. Holy crap, dude. These guys I'm are... Interested in this. Uh, I don't have any money! I'm interested in My this. money! Where did it go? Oh, no! In the doppelganger fight, can you use the stopwatch? The devs did not use the stopwatch, so I will not use the stopwatch. <laughs> Thank you! I'm interested in Oops. this. I'm interested, I'm interested in, this. in this. All right. Still have plenty of bosses left. I, psh, these notes are taking up a quite a bit of space. Let's see. Medusa is next. How do they deal with old Medusi over here? Let's find out. From the right side? Wait, I think I have to start from the right side. Which means I have to go all the way around the castle. Oh my, that's actually the most annoying part. Everything else here is normal. This is actually basically how you want to kill her. Did they give her less health in this? She she definitely has more health than that, right? She doesn't die that fast. Hmm. Yes, because he's level two with eighty health. Whatever, man. They're I can't believe they're cheating. Cause she definitely has way more health than that. You have to go around and skip creature. It seems like, yeah. So the dev intended route is that the fight is boring? True. I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this. Yeah, I'm not worried about spirit orb. That that doesn't matter. And then we have to go back for creature. Creature on the right side as well. And we're going and we're back to the Claymore. Claymore. Back dash the hammer. And then we probably just jump over the rolling attack. And then just rinse and repeat. Yep. No sub weapons. Devs on that crackhead rando brain. True, dude. This is this is a route for sure. Are warps allowed? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, warps are definitely allowed. The only thing that I, I'm allowed to... Um, that I should be worried about is sticking to the boss fights. Essentially, the actual moving around the castle does not matter. How do they only have only 80 HP? It's They're, they're using cheats. They're cheating. The idea behind these dev, like, tactics menus is just to be basically show you, like, hey, this is how you're supposed to kill this boss. In case you get stuck. So. No, I'm not going to use cheats, because then I have to play on the PlayStation version, which I don't want to do, to be honest. It's fine. I'm interested in this. Uh, creature is a normal-ass fight, TBH. Boring. Now death, I'm excited to see. What do they what do they do for old death here? More claymore. Claymore. Wow, they're using the thrust attack. And then normal attack. No. You actually so that's the intended way to get the um, the boss fights in the tactics menu. You can actually get them in the tactics menu by attacking the boss and then library carding out of the boss. So basically adding the boss into your... Um, into the bestiary also unlocks them in the tactics menu. Did he use the thunder sub weapon at all? I didn't see. I don't think he did. Is he saving it for phase two? They cut off his uh his thing. Is the tactic menu only for New Game Plus? I actually don't know. I don't believe so. I don't think it is. 
They don't use the 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 thunder sub weapon at all. Um They basically just keep crossing him up back and forth. Yeah, th they're just AI manipulating the fuck out of this guy, which is really funny. Yeah, pretty boring fight. Am I playing? Yeah, I'm playing with one hand. This is me playing with one hand. Essentially, these are all AI manip tutorials for the most part. Because every single boss in this game is, like, super easy to AI manip. Dude, the Galamoth one is going to take a while. I mean, this one's taking a while, too. I'll be doing more damage, though. So, it shouldn't take that long. You will try and emulate these fights? Yes, sir. That's the plan, at least. No, they don't finish the Gallimoth fight. Why is he weak in every fight? So, the idea is the devs were like, hey, these bosses aren't that bad. You can beat them at level one if you really wanted to, if you knew what you were doing. That's the idea of giving you the tactics of how to defeat them, right? That's the intention, at least. Yeah, I'm going to take some liberties with what the equipment is since we don't know what it is. So I'm going to be allowed to wear everything that I want, except I have to have a blank cape so I look like I'm the same and then I can use whatever weapons I want. I'm interested in this. So the weapon will be the same and the cape will be the same, but like the other equipment, I can use whatever I want. So Doppelganger 40, what do we got here? Iron Shield? He's just doing the standard AI manip. Okay. Cool. This is just what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Holy shit. That's crazy. Yeah, I'll hold the shield out. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, the shield is to establish dominance. If they don't end up using the sub weapon in the fight, I'm not going to worry about grabbing it. Yeah, he that's just the normal AI manip. That's that's normal. They used a similar manipulation on the first uh, doppelganger. I'm interested in But that one's a little bit more involved. If you want to see that, it's actually kind of crazy. Very similar, holds the shield out the whole time. This one is going to be really funny. Go! Holy water! <laughs> uh, and they just do that until he's dead. I'm interested, in this. I'm interested in this. Three bosses left. Trio? This one I have no clue what they want me to fucking do. What's the strat? Axe? And then Crouch Slash? And then Mist to dodge. Okay. Kill Grant first. He's almost out of hearts. Okay. It, that's a lot of damage, bro. Then we have to crouch slash grant. And 
hit Cypher when she gets close. Okay. Yeah, taking one damage from the ice is kind of crazy. It must be um, Ice Mail. Because he's taking a lot of damage from everything else. Maybe we'll use Alucard Mail. Yeah. Cypher last. I didn't realize that, yeah. There we go. Oh, but I have to kill the... Ugh. I have to kill the zombies. Would you have Alucard Mail at this point? Yeah, because it's uh, in the inverted Alrox's quarters. I'm going to make a list of all the items I need afterwards, because it seems like I'm going to need... I don't know what sword this is. This is just like another decent sword. Oh. I'm interested in this. Bees nuts. Back to the claymore. They're jumping over the worms. Breaking the flies. Yeah, just jumping and slashing. Oh, wait a minute. Healed by poison. Cheater. Not really cheating, but. Uh, that's Topaz Circlet. Where's Topaz Circlet? I forget where you're supposed to find it in the normal game. In the library. Oh, the axes as well for the... Okay. So basically, they use axes to kill him. And dodge the flies with mist. Okay. Nice. Very fun, very cool, very poggers. I'm interested in this. Yep, Galmoth's the last one. I already know it's a barrel circlet. We're going to need that. Yeah, no drag video, no shaft video. Soul steel to dodge the attack. Wow, that's crazy. Shield rod? I don't remember this. Shield rod. And then they just say, figure it out. Holy shit. One more time. Plus skull shield? Where do you even find skull shield? Hmm. 
You have to get it as a drop? We have to farm for Skull Shield? No fucking way. Okay, let's make a list of all the items we need. We need the Claymore for sure. Leather Shield. Claymore. Um... Play more. We also need, uh, I think, the Gladius. Short sword, yep. Which we'll always have. Play more. Um, what else? Ice brand. Uh, we're gonna need to get Alucard mail. Um, Iron Shield. Axe Sword Armor. Skull Shield. Uh, Topaz. Circlet. Barrel. Circlet. And Shield Rod. I think that's everything. Did I type Ice Brand already? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. I have my notes. Um, last thing I could do, out of curiosity, it was Shield. It was Shield Rod. It was not Mobile. Uh, where is? You steal Thank you, Super Rich, for the sub. Souls and make them your slaves. I want to see what they do versus Richter. You fool! All right, peace out, nerd. Farm two Vardas? Maybe. Should I use... Maybe I use luck mode to f help with the farming? Because I think the farming is going to be the longest part of the speedrun. The boss fights are going to be whatever. The farming, however, is going to be freaking annoying. I'm interested in this. All right. Lastly, I do need to check on... Um, after Grand Falloon is... Richter... We might fight Richter, depending on what we see here. Iron Shield. He's using, uh... It's the Dark Element Sword. So Dark Sword. Or, um, Mormigil. Yeah. I'm going to get all of the relics. I'm not worried about that. Um, so the idea is I could do Joseph's cloak and set base colors. That would be funny. Um, we'll save and then we'll kill Richter. Then we'll reset after we get the bad ending and then we'll continue the run. Just, just so we complete the full tactics menu. I think that's how I'm going to do it. All right, I have my notes, and um, let's go. Let's let's do it. Oh man, this is gonna be a tough one, chat. I really, really, really would love for you to help me keep track of everything, because there's a lot to keep track of. So let's hope for the best. Um. Let's do it. All bosses using the dev intended uh, methods. So, three, two, one, go. I think I, yeah, we'll just, we won't do luck mode. Oh, what am I doing? Already, I failed the speed run. That's, what am I doing? <laughs> Thank you for the good luck. 
All right. First things first, we have to run up the stairs. We have to grab the cross. We have to throw the cross to open the secret. We have to grab this. We grab this. I think we grab this, this, and these two. Yep. Here we go. I have to save that for 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 second phase. I have to. <laughs> Fuck! I suck. Uh, I have to throw crosses at his head. There we go. I have to backflip over one of those. There we Oh, well, I tried. I, I can blade dash him and uppercut him. That's allowed. I have to hit one uppercut. Here we go. There we go. And then we can use Holy Cross on him to kill him from here. And then we can grab this. And then we can Hydro Storm. All right, let's go. I have to hit him with a Hydro Storm, or just a Holy Water, and then we whip him to death with 11 uh, hearts remaining. GG's, perfect fight. I never started the timer because the time actually starts now. This is where the speedrun actually starts, because that was the prologue. None of that stuff matters. This is when the real speedrun starts. That was on purpose. All right, next boss is Sagar and Gaibon. We need to grab the leather shield, the short sword, and we need to grab the axe. Everything else in between is fair game. Shit, I could even do uh, death skip if I wanted to. I probably should. Fuck it, I'm doing death skip. Because funny enough, this actually does give me a neutron bomb. That Richter fight gives you enough hearts to spawn with a neutron bomb, so I'm gonna do it. See, this this Richter's or sorry, this death skip is uh dev intended. Why else would they let you spawn with a neutron bomb? Duh. This is what uh, Igarashi wanted when he was playing the game. He was trying to show me how to do this. All right. Okay. Here's our leather shield. Perfect. We do need to take the cape off, unfortunately. But we do have our short sword and we have our leather shield. We need to grab the axes as well. But other than that, we should be A-OK. -okay. Oh my god! I almost got poisoned there. And I'm definitely not allowed to be poisoned. Oh my god, they're trying to poison me! Chat! Help! All right. We got short sword. We got leather shield. We have to hold the shield out the entire time, and we have to use the axes when they are above us. All right, let's do it. All right, perfect. Just as the devs intended. Dude, I have to fucking claw to hold the shield out this entire time. Oh no, I took damage.
No, I have to kill Slogger first. Thank you. Eh, close enough. We did it. Yay. Nice. All right. Back to Alucard Sword. Easy peasy. Easiest game of my life. Uh, I have to make sure I grab holy water when I fight um, Doppelganger. I will also have to fight these bosses in the intended order, which is going to be interesting, to say the least. Although we can fight Lesser Demon whenever we want, and however we want, because Lesser Demon... Oh, snap. I think I just missed the Holy Water. Uh, is there another Holy Water somewhere? I'm trying to think. Is there another Holy Water anywhere? I think I messed up. I, I lost the Holy Water, and I can't go back for it. There's got to be another one somewhere, right? Backtracking would require that I go all the way through... No, there's got to be a Holy Water somewhere, right? I don't think there's a holy water. Don't worry, if there's no holy water, I have an idea. I have an idea. That you can backtrack, it's not the end of the world. I know there's an ax in here, somewhere. One of these candles is an ax. There's one in the Forbidden Route. Yeah, let's just do the Forbidden Route. Screw it. Well, actually, no. I have a better idea. We're going to grab the warp first, and then we'll do the Forbidden Route. sure there isn't like a holy water down here or something when was the last time you guys went down here to check oh holy water right here baby right here damn it this game sucks Oh, this is pain. Yeah, I have to go the long way around. Dude, that's crazy that there's like one spot for holy water and it's like so far away from the boss. Oh well. It's fine. I can't get the warp. I forgot that I can't get the warp. Because it's past Doppelganger. Oh, well. Yeah, I made the same mistake in my head. It's fine. Yo, wait, we got 69 hearts. Let's go. The optimal amount of hearts. I'm going to start breaking every single candle. Because I have no freaking clue where a holy water is. 
If you're telling me you've memorized every single candle in this game, uh, good on you. You're a, a, a legend. I, on the other hand, have not. No, guys, it was intentional because I needed to get the spirit orb anyways so we could start seeing how much damage we're doing. It was all part of the plan. One dollar? I'm rich! Really? Wow, we found the holy water. Alright, time to backtrack. No, my health was almost at 69, and my hearts were almost at 69. Damn it. Hold on. I gotta fix this. Don't worry. I got this chat. Optimal damage boosting. All right. And I'll give myself one health. Buffer for just a second here. It's all part of the route, guys. Don't worry. 69 is coming. There it is. Perfection. Oh God, I have to keep the 69 no matter what. No, oh God, why? I was just kidding, the level up was intentional. Um, Calculated, because I knew I was gonna level up, so I needed to take exactly one hit of damage. Oh no, but my 69 is ruined. For my heart. No, God, why? Never mind, we're good. No, the hearts. Whatever, it's too difficult. I give up. There's like seven different sub weapons on the way to Doppelganger, and only like one of them is the <laughs> the holy water. Meanwhile, the tactics menu is like, yeah, totally, you're gonna use the holy water, see? There's no other option. Damn, Buzzo, you got, you got owned. No, 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 my, my, my friend's big brother said if I get uh, 7 million health, that'll let me um, win the video game. All right. Jesus, this took way too long. All right, hold the shield out. Walk up to his ass. Wait for him to spawn. So we got a block. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He, this, he lost track of the script. All right. Oh God, hold on. There it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy's going crazy. Sheesh. We still ended with 69 health, and that's all that matters. And we picked up the Gladius, which is our next weapon that we are upgrading to. 
Well, that's for later boss fights. I'm using the Alucard sword now. Get owned. Ba -ba 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 -da -da. Who's the next fight? Hippogriff. Oh, that means we have to do Vin... It means we can't get the bat, and we have to go through... Hmm. That means we gotta get Jewel of Open and go the intended route. Annoying. Okay. We'll just do this the normal way, I guess. That's fine. technically do shop glitch with the zircon that'd be very funny and very stupid but i could do it yolo yeah let's do it don't worry this is the way the game in intended it guys i promise Uh, skipping Minotaur and Werewolf to get missed is not possible unless I played in luck mode. Which I am not playing in luck mode. This is gonna take a while, guys. Thank you. I'm interested in this. <laughs> I'm interested in this. This is intentional. This is what the devs wanted. Why else would they put the Zerk on here? I think we have to do this like five times to get the duplicator. Get up and stretch. Now's a good time. Hope you guys are doing well. Tell me about your day. How's your day going? If somehow you're watching this on YouTube, let me know how your day is going as well. I'd like to hear about it. Got home from work. Nice. I'm interested in this. Another six hours left. Oof. Wait a minute. Oh, we have to do this like ten more times to get duplicator. Oh my god. Because we just got to 100k and we need to get to 500k. You got a 1.5 liter French press? Yo, nice. That's a big boy. Big boy French press. Lots of coffee. Very overcast and depressing. I am sorry to hear that. Maybe we'll settle for, settle for 50 mana prisms. Um, honestly, you might be right. Mana prisms are 4k, though. So... What is that, 200,000? To get 50? Sure. I have to buy Iron Shield as well.
I'm in <laughs> I'm interested in Yeah. This. So this will be my last batch. I'll sell this batch. We'll buy the iron shield. I'll double check and sh make sure I'm not missing any items that I need. We'll buy a few library cards as well, just to make our lives easier for um, routing. And then the rest will go towards mana prisms. That sounds good to me. Jewel of Open. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna get like five of these. Thank you. Ice Brain, we'll find out in the wild. That's fine. <laughs> Iron Thank Shield. You. Justice Cloak is kind of a meme. I'm not gonna get it. Too many, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Thank you. Farewell all right, now. that's all we really need, so that's fine. What a fun shop trip. We now need to go all the way to Hippogriff. Not only that, afterwards we have to go back and then fight Scylla. What a terrible route. At least I'll be able to warp, presumably, so it shouldn't be that bad. Probably faster to warp to entrance. No, 100% it's faster to warp to entrance. God, we're already 20 minutes in. This is going to be the longest challenge I think I've ever done. Outside of, like, the 24-hour stream that I still plan on doing. Oh, man. How far along is Muramasa? Muramasa, we're about halfway done. And I think, realistically, if we spend another 24 hours, by the end of the 24 hours, the Muramasa should be complete. Uh, do I need a sub-weapon, actually? There is something funny yeah, 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 I know. Wall. I should turn off the fairy, actually. That does remind me. Uh, for Hippogriff... Hippogriff, we didn't use a sub-weapon, according to my notes. Jizz hand is for Scylla. Yeah, if it never gets used, then I don't care. I also have to figure out where I'm going to find the Jizz hand for Scylla. Should I just go get that now? so far is there just hand in cathedral in the chapel maybe by the way when was the last time you guys saw this cutscene bro so we meet again Alucard. it seems so bye you guys remember this cutscene? I don't. No, Scylla was holy water. You are correct. I misread my notes. So I need to keep this holy water, actually. It seems so. Ooh, Cutlass. 
I can use that cutlass as my um, s generic sword, actually. Nice. Farm for axe armor while I'm here? Uh, no, I'm not going to get axe armor from the drop. We're going to get axe armor from the librarian. What? I missed the jump. I'm bad. Do any of these items matter? I don't think so. Whatever. Yeah, that's that uh, strength potion is actually useless. I can't use it. This was the jizz hand you guys were talking about. Uh, I remember. Yeah. All right, we have to just use... Oh, turn this off. Our new sword, the Cutlass. That's better than Gladius, yep. Uh, leather shield. And we just need to backdash whenever it breathes fire. Sure. Easy peasy. Here we go. I'm doing it. I had to break the eggs. There we go. Oh, I tried to backdash it. I'm bad. There we go. Let's go. Dude. Why the fuck does Hippogriff have so much health? There we go. Whew. I'm using the same strats from the clip sold in the library. That is exactly what we're doing. Yep. They used Leapstone for Hippogriff? I don't think they did. Did they? I don't remember them using Leapstone for Hippogriff. Maybe they did. If they did, that's very funny. I didn't notice that. Because that is actually impossible, according to the dev intended route. No, I'm going to get Leapstone right now. Of course I am. How does Hippogriff fertilize eggs? It's probably like an asexual reproduction thing. If I had to guess. Here we go. All right, I'm going to try this exactly one time. If we get it, we're legends. If we don't, well, we're screwed. I'm so fucking good at this game. <laughs> oh, let's go, dude. Easy. Dev intended, by the way. That's what the devs actually wanted you to do. Why else would they let you dive kick off of enemies like that? Uh, Tearfing isn't used. No, it's the Mormagill that's used versus um, Richter. I have to keep that in mind. 
Nice. Uh, outer wall. Because next up is Hippogriff. Let's go. Or sorry, Scylla. I said Hippogriff, but I meant Scylla. Let's go. And then we'll probably warp after. Yeah. Or maybe I library card after, and then I do... Oh, I can't do shop glitch again. I'm stupid. Damn, 102? That's a lot of damage. All cards sort of kind of crazy. Well, I guess they're weak to it as well. Well, we have to fight uh, Minotaur and Werewolf as well. So we can get the Jizz Hand after Minotaur and Werewolf, I think. Minotaur and Werewolf is before Karasamon. Yeah, I might get the the shop uh, glitch with um, sword card. That's fair. Uh, bu 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 bu. So we have to go back to our cutlass. We're just jumping and slashing. Uh, the wolf is what we use for iframes. I have to keep that in mind. We have to use the wolf for iframes. Easy. Oh, sorry. I'm not allowed to backdash. I forgot. We just have to walk. Of course. And then we take damage right here. Mm hmm. Intentional. Yep. This is what they wanted. So the idea is you bait them. And then. And then I have to dodge this attack by transforming into wolf. Wow, I almost actually dodged it from transforming into wolf. All right, whatever. And then we just jump and slash. All right, easy fight. The devs knew about the soft lock. True. All right. Um, next up is Minotaur, so I think we can just honestly just library card. Yeah. Let's go. I could have gotten the caverns. No, I couldn't get the caverns warp because of uh, Cerberus. So never mind. This was the correct play. Was the library card? Damn! What a route! World record speed run right here. <laughs> the devs wanted you to walk to the library. Unfortunately, uh, I don't see any uh, tactics menu telling me how to leave. The Scylla room, so I'm allowed to do whatever I want. Checkmate, atheists. What? Why so much atheist hate? There is no atheist hate. What are you talking about? I think you might just be projecting your own insecurities.
Yeah, I'm just checkmating them. I don't understand. Oh, well, 20 seconds isn't too bad. You guys aren't going to believe this. There's a new strat you can do to get up to um, Coliseum. It's called double jumping. Isn't that crazy? That's wild, man. You can double jump up there. I know. You guys have probably never seen that one before. What? All right, minutes are werewolf time. Uh, yeah, just pretty normal fight. I just have to backdash and dodge some of the attacks. Oh, fuck off. Is there any boss that's going to be hard? Not really. All right, Minotaur and Werewolf time. Oops, I didn't jump. I'm trying to jump out of the way. I'm really bad at it. All right, close enough. That is pretty. You didn't kill the werewolf first. Reset streamer. Sure, I'll do that. All right, now I have to go get Jizz Hand. Which I guess I'll go this way to grab Jizz Hand. That's fine. Wait, I have to get Shield Rod. Whoa, I almost forgot. I need Shield Rod. Let's grab Shield Rod. I almost forgot. There we go. You know, I'll just do this to skip them. Nice. Uh, I don't think the blaze skeletons have like a lightning attack. I don't think so, at least. Don't worry, this is dev intended. Watch this. Uh, flashing lights warning for like a second or two. That's why it's called Cow Skip, by the way. In case you didn't know. I'm just going to grab a sword card real quick while I'm here. Good routing. Uh, let's put the... Oops. I'll card sword back. But the issue is, is they, I believe, fought Karasamon starting from the right side. So I can't fight Karasamon uh, backwards, if that makes sense. Like, I can't fly up and get him. So I think I'm actually going to library card. And then climb the clock tower. That's the plan, at least. Um, what can I do for 
Y'all ever ever gather the brother soul blades? This is what happens when you gather the brother soul blades. I, I don't understand why people be gathering the brother soul blades, but uh, is there anything else here that I need to buy? I don't think so, right? Where the hell do you get um? I'm trying to remember. Where do you get topaz circlet again? Can somebody look that up for me? Where in the library? In the upstairs part of the library? Where Holy Rod is? Really? That's where Topaz Circlet is? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, thank you. You're right. I'll grab that um, when I come back with I'm supposed to grab bat right now. What am I doing? I'm smoking stacks of crack. Dude, I'm on my crack stacks right now. Hold on. I forgot because lesser demon doesn't show up in the tactics menu. We can just beat him whenever we want. So let's go uh, kick his ass. Let's go fuck him up. Let's go make him feel stupid and goofy forever existing. Plus, we need to kill him in order to get, um, Soul Bat. While I'm here, let's go get Topaz Circlet, though. Oops. I need to get Gravity Boots as well, right? I need to get Gravity Boots soon. Hmm. Because we need it for Grand Falloon at the very least. Alright. That guy's owned. He's not a boss. Everybody knows that. Oops. Does this not work with Power of Mist? I don't think it does. Hold on. There we go. Turn that back on. All right, we're good. Plus, it even was one day away from retiring. Damn. I can't wait to spend time with my kids. It's my last day on the job before retiring. <laughs> Alucard shows up. What? I mean, we just throw jizz at this guy until he dies, right? That's the plan. Oh, wait, I could have gotten jizz from here. Oh, that would have been more optimal. I could have skipped some jizz. That's fine, actually. Not that big of a deal. Bro, I'm gaming, all right. So, we need our sword and not that shield. I'll take off duplicator. I'll probably grab gravity boots after this. Because we need it for Cerberus, which is coming up after this. So, yeah, I'm going to grab them after this. Let them land. And then jizz them up. Oh, wait. I'm not supposed to do that. There we go. Jizz them up. 
Eat jizz, nerd. All right. That was easy. Did I grab... Oh, I never grabbed the All Rocks Warp. I should have done that. Oh, well. I'll do Entrance to Forbidden Route is probably the fastest way. I definitely should have grabbed the All Rocks Warp. That was a mistake. That's fine. I don't have a luck potion, do I? I should try and find a luck potion because we will need to farm. Oh, I need uh, holy water, actually, now that I think about it. Let's grab that now before I forget. Because Cerberus we need holy water for. Jizzless percent. <laughs> oh, I've done sub weapons only many a times. That commits you nice. It's not that crazy. Sperm scent. Shut up. You can't say sperm scent. That's illegal. You're going to jail. This is faster, guys, I swear. Getting first try floor clips does feel nice, seeing how I haven't practiced them at all today. I need to get Claymore, though. Isn't Claymore right here? Yes, it is. Perfect. I can also buff myself with the Moonstone, which I'll do now. I'll put this on as well. And then Claymore. Nice. And we pretty much just have a pretty normal fight versus uh, Succubus here. Just use the Claymore. I don't even think we use the thrust attack. I think we just jump and slash. I think we thrust like once. <laughs> what was that? I'm supposed to be dodging these attacks, but I'm lazy. Alright. Easy fight. Next up is Cerberus. And we're going to switch back to our Cutlass for that one. I don't need the gold ring, but I'll grab it. I should actually uh, put the duplicator back on and then put the man prison's back on. That's fine. That toadstool is really important. Trust me. I need it. So it's Cerberus into All Rocks into Grand Falloon. This is where I wish I grabbed the All Rocks warp, but it's fun. I'll have to warp to like Outer Wall or something. No, I'm bad at the game. Why would I do that? 
trying to dive kick off that guy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do this. There we go. That just makes my life easier. The frogs are very powerful. All right. This one's a lot. We need to dive kick off of him. We gotta dive kick off of him, get to the top platform, and then throw holy water. And then we crouch, attack him, and then we gravity jump to do the fireballs. All right. Damn it. God damn it. All right, close enough. That'll do. That's pretty much what they did. Yeah, these are getting a lot easier. Because <laughs> I'm actually a high enough level that I'm killing them way faster than the, the devs did. All right. I do have to remember to sit in um, Alrox's chair. That's really, really important. All right, let's go to Alrox. Ah! No, I'll just go this way. I was like, I can go from the chapel, and that might be faster, but getting to the chapel is, like takes just as long. Because I opened the shortcut from the other side. But it's fine. All rocks. I need axes, actually. Where am I going to find an axe? Where can I find an axe sub-weapon? I can get this guy to drop an axe. Hmm? No? Isn't there an axe somewhere here? I thought one of these was an axe for some reason, but I guess not. Hmm. Is there an axe in the Coliseum? Alchemy Lab? That's close enough. Yeah, I should go to the Alchemy Lab one, I guess. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, I should have uh, warped from entrance then, but that's fine. I was trying to... God damn it. That's fine. I was trying to use the holy water to break the candle. Because I thought that would have been cool. But being cool is hard sometimes. All right. Just in time. Perfect timing.
So we need to sit in Alrox's chair. We're going to use the Claymore. We have to duck under the fireballs. We have to use the axe to break his ghosts that he spawns. And then in the second uh, phase, we're allowed to soul steal. And we have to use mist to dodge his attacks. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's refill our MP and... Claymore it is. I have to gracefully wait for him to sit up and then steal his chair. Ow, I have to duck under that. I'm going to die. All right, I'm allowed to soul steal on second phase, which is good. Ow, why am I taking so much? Oh, I still have the duplicator on. That's why. Duh. Oh, I have to use the the mist to dodge. And get hit a lot by fireballs. Oh, he doesn't stop. Pretty much the same fight. Yeah, I think they toned down some of the boss's stats. That seems reasonable to me. All right, time to go fight Granfalloon. We have to go get the ice brand as well. No, I want to clip. I want to clip. We're doing this again. This is for me. Thank you. Trust me, guys. It's faster. That was just like a fast way to heal. What am I doing? I should have warped. What am I? Oh, my... I was supposed to use the All Rocks Warp to warp to caverns. I'm so stupid. What? How did I get hit by that guy? At least I got to do a cool... Um Little clip, clippy zippy. Oh man. An hour in and we're finally about to finish the first castle.
Let's do this the right way. There we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. There's our ice brand. All right. I don't think we use the shield at all, right? No. We're allowed to dive kick off of the bodies. We're allowed to use mist to dodge. Like that. We have to kill all the bodies. We can gravity jump. To despawn the bodies. You know what would make this boss fight better? Is if all these bodies uh, just exploded and did half of my health in a single hit. I think that would make the boss fight a lot better, personally. Nice. I do need to grab more McGill while I'm here. Because next up is Richter, and we need Iron Shield and more McGill to fight him. Nice. I'm surprised no one's ever thought of such a novel idea. I know. All right, we need to save before fighting Richter, though. God, I don't want to talk about Elon. Let's not. He doesn't need to be talked about anymore. I would say none. Let's say no eccentric buildings. Make it a ban word? No. That goes against free speech. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. All right. Let's go beat his ass. More McGill. Iron Shield. So we're going to dodge this. We're going to use the Iron Shield to stay invincible, and then we're going to hit him. Dude, that freaking owned his ass. Dude, Mormigil is insane versus this guy. Ow. GG's. It's over. Time. That's the game's over. So the war Time. Humans and vampires I'm actually gonna uh, use the bathroom real, real quick, guys. What need and when we get back, we're gonna finish the run. When the wolves have all gone, but enjoy watching this cutscene. Time on this world has come to an end. that he chose a life of warfare since that was the only way he knew like you father he chose a path of destruction farewell land of my birth never again will these eyes gaze upon your beauty
All right, we don't need the credits. It's fine. Yo, Halo 2? You guys want to play Halo 2? All right, so I guess we're not supposed to kill Richter? That's weird. That's cringe. What are we supposed to do then? Hmm. I'm just going to jump around in this weird way and try and figure it out. Oh, wait. We did it. We killed Richter. We fought him and we killed him. Just like the, the developers intended. Now we have to fight Darkwing Bat. We have our axes, which is what we needed. Perfect. All right? Yep. So I should actually, hold on. I'm going to grab the warp first because the route has us um, going to Aquamadon next after Darkwing Bat. So we have to go around Medusa to get to Aquamadon, which is really annoying. But it's okay. I always wanted to learn to speedrun Halo, uh, Halo 2 in particular, but I just never put in the time. All right, here we are. Did I grab axe armor? I'm going to go back for it. The way that you get axe armor is you have to uh, enter the second castle and then go back to the first castle in order to actually, like, unlock it. For it to spawn under the librarian. Oh, he almost grabbed me. There we go. Nice. What's up, Master Tomba? We are currently beating every single boss the way the developers intended. Uh, the, de the developers never picked that up, so I'm not going to pick that up either. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before in my life, so I'm not going to pick that up. Uh, I believe we should be ready to go. We can go to the librarian from here and grab the axe sword armor. Because we need axe armor for our next fight. Dude, nothing hurts more than, like, hitting your head unexpectedly. I'll say it. That shit sucks. Oops. Get in there. Get in the... Alucard, get in the hole. Am I missing something? I'm not getting any of the items. Huh? This is kind of sus. There it is. Okay, there's Ring of Arcana. So it's a matter of time. Is it random? I forget exactly how this works. People have told me how this works before, but I, I forget. I think it's like you get like a random chance of him dropping something every time you do this. But you have to have um, either beaten certain bosses or gone to certain areas before he unlocks certain items. I think it's something like that. There it is. All right. 
It took a while, but we got it. That's definitely faster than farming it from the, the dude. From the spike ball. That's for sure. Should we start farming now for Skull Shield, actually? We probably will need to. Should I get Alucard gear, actually? I'm going to get Alucard gear to make this a little bit easier. I did just get the Arcana, yeah. But we're actually really close to the Alucard gear, so I'm just going to get it now. You didn't know that happened and you beat it. Yeah, there's a lot of... I learn new stuff about this game all the time, and I've been speedrunning it for almost 10 years. Yeah, I should have thought uh, thought ahead about the... Um... Do I need any more sub-weapons? I don't think so. Are any of these necessary? I need axes for Beezlebub, but there's an axe right before fighting him. Trio, we don't need one. Galamoth, we don't need one. Yeah, okay, so we're done with uh, sub-weapons. We don't need sub-weapons anymore. Let me just fucking... Give me a weapon. I have to remember to grab a heart refresh as well. Okay. I wish I had a luck potion, but I don't think I do, right? Yeah, no, I don't have a luck potion. I don't even know where one is, and I'm not too worried about it. We have pretty decent stats. It shouldn't be too bad. Oh yeah, Axis for Trio as well. And Trio comes up after Doppelganger 40, so we have a lot of time to find Axis. There's one on the way up to All Rocks. Oh yeah, there is one on, on the way up to All Rocks. Oh well, it's fine. It shouldn't be too bad to get Skull Shield. Shouldn't be. It's a pretty rare drop, but... Oh, wait, I have to do Richter skip again. <laughs> Almost forgot. I mean, what is this Richter skip which you speak of? I don't know what you're talking about. The game just, that's normal. Smile. What's my favorite shield? Uh, probably Iron Shield. That or Alucard Shield. All right. Ring of Arcana! And Moonstone does increase our luck a little bit. Alucard! 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 First try. First try. Just kidding. Close. Maybe it's faster to... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is gonna take a while, guys. Feel free to get comfy. Was this better than Skull Lord? Skull Lord doesn't drop the Skull Shield. Wait, does it? Hold on. Let me double check. Let's not do that. Let's screw that up. Let me check the drop calculator to see which one has a better drop chance. Yeah, have Skull Shield. No, Skull Lords do have a... Yorick has the best chance, though. It's a 1 in 58. Wait, which one is Yorick? Oh, Yorick is this guy. That's to actually kill the skeleton. The Yorick head isn't... It can't drop it. Oh, okay. So I have to actually kill the skeleton. I was killing them both doing this. Yeah, the other ones, it's like a one out of like 200. I have my Arcana on, right? Yeah, and my Alucard gear. So it should be a much better chance now. In fact, I can do the calculations, because why not? Let's make this fun. Even though we're wasting time doing this, I want to know. What is the actual odds? Because there is a drop calculator. My luck is 56 with one Arcana. And we're looking for Skull Shield. It should be a one in 20. So a 5% chance. So we should find it quite soon. Yeah, my status is Alucard. I like getting the turquoise. That's two monster vials. How many monster vials are we going to get before getting the shield? Three monster vials. The monster vials are for Drac, true. Don't worry, guys. This is what the developers intended. They wanted you to farm for Skull Shield. Because how else are you supposed to kill Gallimoth? I feel like we're definitely have killed more than 20 of these guys. If it's a one out of 20 after 20, it should be a hundred percent. That's how that works. That's how math works. What do you mean? No, I don't have a luck potion. This is a clear file. Yes. And here you can kill Galmoth using a stun lock. What? No, that can't happen. That's never happened before. This game is programmed too well for that. Monster vials. Oh, how I love them. What? Razor Capri Sun? 
Nobody has ever stunlocked Gallimoth. Never. That's never happened before. You're actually lying. What are you talking about? There it is. We did it! Woo! How about? All right, time to go the long way around. Do 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 do. You know, I'm just gonna do this for funsies. I swear I saw it in a video once. Would it happen to be my video tutorial explaining it? Oh, don't want to grab that. The developers never grabbed that. So, the joke is, Razor Capri Sun, that I've been playing this game for nine years. I've done hundreds of randomizers where I have to kill Gallimoth, if not thousands. And every single time, I kill him using that stun lock. So, you telling me that the stun lock exists, and me going, no, no way, is sarcasm because I've done it literally hundreds of times. That's the joke. I'm sorry I had to explain it like this. I, I kind of thought you would catch the, the, the joke. That's right. I've actually never killed Galmoth. You're right. Dude, we have to go all the way around to get to Aquamadon. So lame. It's okay. Sometimes it's okay to explain the joke a little. Sometimes. Hey, we're on a good clock cycle. Let's go. Um, Akhmedon, yeah. We need to grab holy water, actually. Isn't there a holy water in um, Arox's quarters? There's a Is there? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, there is one. There is one. I know where one is. Yeah, I got that. Cool, cool, cool. All righty. Does the door even open? Because they spawned in. Oh, like this. Ah, that's how they did it. All right. Let's get his ass. Just how the developers intended, baby. Let's go! Nice. GG's, baby. Let's get out of here. You actually can't leave. That's very funny. Does this get rid of your shield rod spell? It looks like it does. All right. No, next up is actually... Um, 
Not creature, but Medusa first. Oh, there it is. It's Medusa, then creature, then death, then doppelganger. I got it all written down. I thought that was a big heart for some reason. Rib is still in the boss room. The developers never picked up the Rib of Vlad, so I won't either. It's obviously not important for anything. So we need to go to our short swords. Just kidding. I guess it's a normal sword. For Cutlass. And we never used a shield. So that'll do. When's a good time to grab Barrel Circlet? Uh, probably... Uh, that's a good question. Maybe after Beezlebub? That's probably the, the best time I can think of doing it. So, all right. Yep, this is it. That, that's exactly how they did it. Pretty much bar for bar. That's that's how the devs did it. Easy peasy. Next up is Creature. fine actually I thought I forgot something but it's not that big of a deal if a creature we need to use the claymore Oh, we have to go from the right side. I forgot. Very, very important that we do it from the right side. While I'm here, real quick. But in case, just in case, just in case we get a drop. I'm not saying we will, but maybe. Where is Alucard? There it is. Sad. Okay, one more try. One more try. Just one more. One more. One more, guys. We're... Last one, I promise. Okay, maybe not. Oh, that was it. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy. So we need our Claymore. All right. We have to backdash the hammer attack. Oh my god, 193. I have to actually let him roll around though. And I'm almost certain he's gonna die soon. Close enough. Nice. All right, next up is death. We again use Claymore, but we have to use the thrust attack while standing on platforms. All righty.
That is very funny that we got the uh, VAR to drop. <laughs> Definitely worth it. I need to get axes. Where can I find an... Oh! That's where I can find an axe. I had a vague memory of there being an axe right there, so I'm glad that uh, worked out. Should have tried for two, and no need to be greedy. There's no need. So we have to fight death first. Then we come back for Doppelganger. Oops. Oh, stop hitting me. Stop it. Stop. I'm going to tell on you. All right. Play more of this. Wants me to do the thrust attack against him. And then I have to, like, walk to s dodge those. Oh, God. Now we just hit him, hit him with the throw your thing then walk the other way and then make him do that over here yeah that attack is very rare you have to like keep death alive with like very little health and he does that attack on his first phase that is and there's death taken care of I'm gonna grab the Warp, so we can come back here to fight Galmoth. Whatever, fine. Oops. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I need my hearts. No! Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to dodge all the Vlad relics. Whatever. One, one Vlad relic won't hurt. We have to use the Iron Shield coming up versus uh, Doppelganger here. And then it's literally just... AI minip until he's dead, which is very funny. That the devs were like, screw it, just just freaking AI minip him. I don't care. Yeah, I'm going to reset the whole run. That's a great idea. I'll do that real quick uh, in just a second here. Iron Shield and Cutlass. I think I actually need to get him into this corner. Yep. Next up is Trio. Which we can go f this way to get there. Did I play signals yet? I don't even know what that is. Signalis? Signalis? Signals?
How much time we gotta wait? Not that long. It's good. All right, maybe I'll try it out. I have to throw axes at Grant. It's a crouch. Attack, uh, Trevor. They came in from the left side, I'm pretty sure, so this should be fun. This is uh this is pretty much it. Okay, there's one down. There we go. Yeah, he threw a giant bone at me the other day. That was crazy. Um, trio done. Next up is Beezlebub. We have to heal from the poison. We have to break all of his limbs, and then we have to mist to get to the uh, the core and then kill it. Not bad. All right. Claymore. Say less. Oh, I have to also put on um, Topaz Circlet. Did they enter from the left or from the right? I don't remember. I think they entered from the left. So I think I have to go the long way around. For the immersion. Did I just reply to myself? Yeah, that's what Twitch streaming is, is you just talk to yourself all day. That, that shouldn't surprise you. Oh my god. Stop it. I'm getting owned, and I don't like it. It should be a Varda. For all I know, you guys are basically just AI-generated messages. How can I know that any of you are actually real? How do I know you guys aren't just figments of my imagination? Hmm? You ever think about that? What if it was all just a dream? What if I'm actually in a coma right now? All right. Topaz Circlet, Claymore, Say Less. Let's get his ass. So we need to break his legs, 
heal from the poison. Uh, I think we fly up and hit him a couple of times. And we also need to fly up and throw uh, axes. I don't remember. Tribute. You, you steal rabbit. men's souls and make them your slaves. Here we go. Nice. One boss left. We just need to grab the barrel circlet, which we can grab from going this way. 22 months, Rapu? That's a long time. I really appreciate that. Thank you for deciding to stick around this long. Oops. That was a little early. Yeah, Beezlebub has zero attacks. He never does anything. He just sits there. He's honestly a, a pacifist, if you think of it that way. He just happens to be so smelly and stinky that there's um, collateral damage from his, uh, his hygiene. Only Soden would have a decaying corpse as a boss. I don't think that's true. I have a feeling that other games would also have decaying corpses as a boss. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but that can't be just a Soten thing. There's got to be more games that have done it, especially since Soten has come out. I did it the wrong way around. All right. We're coming up on the final boss fight. I'm excited, y'all. Tribute. Thank you, Dave, for the gift. Steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Oh, that was the right one! Oh, I missed my bus. Imagine you're waiting for a bus, and every 20 frames... All right. Perfect movement. I will say Beezlebub's uh, design definitely stuck out the most to me when I played this game when I was younger. I remember being very creeped out by Beezlebub. All right. Our final boss fight. Skull shield. Shield rod. Barrel circlet. Let's do it. Ow. I'm supposed to soul steal, I forgot. First of all, I could sit in here. I was supposed to soul steal to dodge his attacks, and then we do this. And at this point, the game says, good luck, figure it out. Probably because they don't want to show you that these will actually hurt you. If you're wearing Burl Circlet, these don't do lightning damage. This attack does. But the other one does not. This also does not that much damage. The only reason it's doing this much damage is because I have a Varda. 
So, from what I've learned is I could use a Mana Prism, right? And, oh, wow, this Shield Rod thing is really cool. Maybe I could use it with the Alucard Shield? Huh, let's try that. I've never tried that before. Let's see what happens. Huh. Oh, wow, it kills him. That's crazy. Look how much health he had. That was like 50 more casts of the Skull Shield with a Varda on to kill him with that. <laughs> That's not a scam. The devs gave up, so I, you know. The devs literally gave up on that fight. So I just took it into my own hands to try maybe something different. I, they, they taught me how to use the shield rod. So I'm like, oh, maybe I can use the shield rod versus this guy. I think that's that's what the devs intended. They wanted to show you how to use the shield rod. And they wanted you to see it with the skull shield. And we tried it with the skull shield. We just tried out a few other shields. The devs literally gave up on teaching you how to do that fight, by the way. So I, I say fair game. Yeah, they didn't even show all of Beezlebub's attacks. Here we are. But here's the thing. How do we fight Dracula? The devs never showed me how to get into Dracula's room, so I don't really know how I'm supposed to do that. Uh, I guess we can mess around and try and figure it out for ourselves. Hmm. There must be some way. Let's save the game first. Actually, before I save the game, I actually uh, am realizing that... Don't mind me as I move into... I should probably use the shield rod thing again, huh? Uh, all right, now that we've used the shield rod, maybe I can go say... Fuck. <clears throat> don't mind me. Oh, wow. I should really use the shield rod. Shield rod seems like a really good thing to do. God, this is, this is really awkward, guys. Trust me. I'm like one pixel off. Oh yeah, we should try maybe the Alucard shield. You're so right. Maybe the Alucard shield will help us. Uh, this might work. There it is. Wow, the Alucard shield is really powerful. The Alucard shield lets you clip through walls and into ceilings? Huh, who would have thought? And everybody says it's useless. What's the cue there? I don't know, I was just figuring it out. It's obviously intended. Just as, that's what I'm saying. The devs taught me about the shield attacks. So I'm gonna use them. Oh, you know what the devs could have taught us about as well? Hmm. Maybe I could perhaps. I don't, what are these monster vials? What do these do? Get them. 
Get him, boys. Get him, boys. They're, they are doing a poor job of boning him. Get him. There it is. Welcome to the bone zone. Are there any viable monster vials? Yeah, the, the bat monster vial is insane. But since we have the skeleton one, get them, boys. Show them what's for. Get them, see? Show them we're not messing around. <laughs> oh, and just like that. We beat Mother Symphony of the Night exactly as the developers intended. It only took us an hour and 50 minutes. How, how is it that I've been so defeated? Oh, man. You have been doomed ever since you lost the ability to love. That wasn't too bad at all. Uh, so Plus an extra, you know, 40 minutes to take notes on what we were supposed to do. I would say overall, successful speedrun, successful world record. We learned so much today. Um... If you're watching this, it would really help me out a lot if you subscribed to the YouTube. And you could also join me while I do these live streams, doing these uh, challenges and dumb things live, twitch.tv slash dragonblitz. I'd love to see you in the, the live chat. Anyways, bye-bye, YouTube. Have a good one.